Hello everyone, Karen Glasser here and welcome to Karen Glasser Live. We have such a show for you today, I can hardly wait. We are celebrating moms and we are welcoming Monica, also known as Mommy Rapper, to the show. If you're here live, we're thrilled you're here live. Make a comment down below. If you're here on replay, same, same, same thing. Make a comment down below. And of course, share, 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 share. We love it when you share. Today, I want to introduce you to Mommy Rapper. She is a mom, a mother of four girls who goes by Mommy Rapper. It's a, she's a clean rap artist who isn't afraid to speak her truth. She was disappointed by the lack of clean rap songs and commercial music. That was the catalyst in her decision to be the change she wanted to see instead of just complaining about it with other parents. So Mommy Rapper is currently focusing on growing her brand as a clean commercial rap artist, recording more original music and breaking into the music industry with her niche clean rap brand. Recently, she was featured on Entertainment Tonight and we are excited to bring money rapper to the show so without further ado i am going to bring you in right now hey there hi karen hi everybody i am so happy that you're here uh we started the show with the song that kind of started everything right mother and you got you you entertainment tonight found you little things found you uh canada entertainment tonight tonight found you I found you, we all found you, because what you're doing is so unique and so amazing. And so we decided that we can honor mothers today by bringing you on to the show. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the topic. You know, I'm fascinated by what you do. So I wanna know why you do it. Why are you doing this? I've asked myself the same question. Um, but I feel so passionate about it and I'm very clear on my why. It's the how that I have to let go of. That's been my journey the last eight years. So I grew up to rap and hip hop and mm -hmm. it was fine growing up when you're a listener under the age of, you know, 20, 30 years old before kids. You're not really thinking about it. You're enjoying the beat. You're enjoying the songs. Becoming a mother, though, and when your kids get about two years old or so, they're picking up now on the lyrics, so I couldn't blast it in the car anymore. <laughs> so my why was born after having two kids realizing uh, there's a risk they could repeat these words or phrases. And even though a lot of it is edited out, right. they are smart. They're picking up on what's being said. Right. So this started back, I think 2012, right, is when you decided to roll this all out. You started doing crowdfunding. Tell us a little bit about what that was about. Yeah, I've been thinking about sharing the first YouTube video that I did in 2012, because when you get an idea to do something different and to make a change in an area that you feel needs changing, Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't look so fancy, right? I didn't know anything about YouTube in 2012. So the, I, for the first couple of years, I was just starting my channel. And after a few years, it started to pick up steam in Vancouver, Canada, where I was living at the time. Wow. I developed this reputation as this mom rapper, and I started performing at women's events and emceeing women's events, performing at children's festivals. Um, and then my friends were encouraging me, why don't you do a Kickstarter? Like, see if this is something you could actually monetize and make a living out of. And I thought at the time, well, I'm just a stay at home mom of two. Is that some, it was just not part of my wheelhouse, you know, right. how to do a Kickstarter. So I just went for it. Well, I was showing a picture of you. One of the things that I love about you is that you're so whimsical. I mean, there's a picture of you with bubble gum coming right out of your mouth and we, I, I just think that you are trying things. You're not, you are fearless. You are doing things that I think a lot of uh, women um, might have dreamt about, but would say, there's no way I'm gonna go do this. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just not gonna do this, but you decided to do this. I started the, uh, the show by saying you have four kids. Let's talk about the four kids. I'm gonna go ahead and put them into the stream. I, I mean, there are four of them. I, I'm just gonna go ahead and put them up. So you've got, from what age to what age do you have? So the eldest is now 13 mm -hmm. and then 
got 11. The eldest is Naya. The 11 year old's Talia. The seven year old with the basketball there is Alana. And the little one is Avea. She's one. One years old. So you're starting them early. And are they, are they all wrapping at this point? Or it's just mommy, whatever mommy does over there? <laughs> well, some of them have the performer gene. I would say they're more on the dance side of things. They all like to dance. So that's why they were begging me for TikTok for, you know, at least a year now. And I decided I caved. I let them try it. That didn't work out how I wanted it to. So I just did the TikTok account and we can post right. stuff on there. Yeah. So, and that's kind of why you you pushed into the clean wrap because you started to see some of the stuff that was out there on TikTok, right? And it's not the kind of stuff that you wanted your kids to necessarily be listening well, to. I inadvertently exposed them to all the explicit music I was trying to protect them from all the and instead of auditing at first, I thought, well, everyone's doing TikTok. It's cute. There's parents even dancing and families doing these things. But that's just a sliver of what's on TikTok. You have to yeah. be very careful as a parent. A absolutely. So when I was doing some research on you, um, I went back into you have, you have quite a few songs at this point, And we're going to talk about the new album that's coming out. But one of your earlier ones actually struck a chord with me. I don't know exactly why I like it so much, but uh, I'm going to put it on right now. We're going to just play the entire the entire video. Um, it, I think it really highlights you as a mommy rapper. So here we're going to put it in. Let's go ahead and put the solo on and we're going to start. <laughs> Wrong frame of mind Doors closing didn't get that it just wasn't time Spinning circles like tornadoes going out my mind Disconnected from my third eye living blind Don't, 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 don't want to quit this life I, I ain't your ordinary housewife Want to do my thing, the dream is mine I, I'm a crazy dreamer, Einstein Never want to compromise Got my eye on the prize Yeah, so what I'm pine size I know how to improvise Keeping people mesmerized Leader of my enterprise Watch me as a specialized Tired of the same size Where my ladies in the game The ones who don't sell out to gain fame The ones who don't push was profane and insane Do mocaine, drink champagne While hanging from two chains You giving me a migraine I'm not on the same plane I'm doing my own thing Rap, I don't sing, I'm paving my own lane If you want the same thing, then baby, come join me I'm doing my own thing t -t 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 Doing my own thing I'm, I'm, I'm doing my own thing Do Doing my own thing Do Doing my, doing my, doing my own thing Circumstances make me anxious This world is in shambles While well, most keep on acting like they gonna live Till the world just collapses Hustling ain't working to heal up the planet Facade, facade, facade Most people scheming just a superficial way of living All for show, for real, they're tripping Listen, we all want, but damn, you're ignorant Don't think that because they're famous They all happy cause they made it So much danger in Looking up to all these pop stars Who show skin and use it to sell things Gotta be hot if you wanna get noticed Gotta be cool if you wanna show promise Gotta be famous, gotta get noticed Gotta be famous, gotta be famous Can't be bothered too many artists who naked and awkward yeah. Showing some new flavor This rap game's immoral And I got my own girls yeah. who need some clean role models I'm going full throttle I'm doing my own thing Doing my own thing I'm, I'm, I'm doing my own thing Do, Doing my own thing Do, Doing my, doing my, doing my own thing You know, I, I watched that and I think to myself, you are giving moms who are watching and not watching right this minute, but maybe on replay, permission to do their own thing. And I, I think that that's the message here is that you decided at, am I allowed to say your age? <laughs> yes, I'm not hiding it anymore because it's part of the story and it's part of the fear of 
being a disruptor in the rap industry, I do feel like I am poking at some issues in the music industry. I feel like it's inappropriate and irresponsible for a lot of creators in the music industry and mostly the executives mm -hmm. that um, there's such little um, regulation and there are the labeling around certain songs, but I'm speaking out in the lyrics. If you really listen to the lyrics, I'm speaking out against how things have just gotten out of control and children are, are innocent victims to what's happening in the music industry. It's just a free for all. And even though there's some parameters put in place around labeling a song as explicit so a parent knows, I mean, yeah. we have music streaming in our house, Karen. I don't know the age of your kids, but the kids can go and say, uh, okay, Google play whatever song or Alexa or all these right. things. Right. And it will return the original song. It doesn't hear clean if they say play the clean song. So, so right. I have a mission around rap and I also have a mission around what you said giving uh, women and moms permission right. to express themselves without limit and to not have fear because women have a history of being shunned and criticized and uh, more worse than that probably even executed if you right. look at history there is ingrained ancestral fear around women speaking up so I, you're right, I don't have fear, but, and it takes a lot of courage to step out and speak up against something that you don't agree with. Yeah. And I don't believe in censorship. I wanna find a solution for everybody. I love win-win solutions. So how can all the music creators continue to create whatever their heart desires, but so that children aren't exposed to mature subject matter before they're ready? And you're doing it. I mean, so, and you did it while you were quarantined. That's the other piece of this is that in the middle of everything as you're getting ready to roll out this album, and I'm gonna put the album cover up again, uh, Mommy Rapper Clean Rap Volume One, as you're doing this in quarantine. I mean, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> well, um, I got the vision last year that I really, this, I'm like, this is the year. Last Mother's Day in 2019, I wanted to do it, but the baby was like three or four months old and I had to let go. I'm like, I have a baby. I'm going to do this next Mother's Day. Right. So the creation process started around December of putting the songs together, going to the studio. I recorded the four songs before quarantine started. But then it was the music video I wanted to shoot for the lead yeah. single mother. And I had to let go of doing a traditional music video because you're not supposed to be in contact. So that's why I did a music video that was more of a dance compilation of other moms and to celebrate moms and not do a traditional video where I'm performing to camera. Exactly. And, and you can find this video, you can go to YouTube, you can, you can check this out and I'm going to give you a link also where you can purchase these songs for your kids it's clean i mean it's and it's for the moms i find myself just sitting here just moving to the beat and i don't even be honest i don't even like rap but there's something about what you're doing here that makes me feel good i mean it really does make me feel good let's talk about what's going on i mean so entertainment tonight well before we talk about that i want to make sure i thank you for that statement because I, I want to reach every demographic. Mm -hmm. You're in the, well, we're not going to talk about age because I don't really actually believe in the, it's not an important topic, but I mean, you're in a certain demographic. I'm in a certain demographic. Kids are in a certain demographic. I want to reach everybody. I want to make rap. I call myself the Ellen of rap. I love it. <laughs> Ellen is so accessible and so down to earth. And it doesn't matter what age you are, what gender you are, what race you are. She's so relatable and cool. And right. I, I'd love to be able to um, have that type of reach through my music. Um, but yeah, entertainment tonight, it's magical that all, all you have to do, and this is my message to all of you, is create what you're going to create and then put it out there. If I didn't reach out to them, I tag them, I email them, I sent a direct message to a reporter 
for Entertainment Tonight with the music video I launched called Mother. I had just put it on YouTube and had like barely any views. I did it maybe the day before. She said, I love it. I want to write a story on it. So you just never know you what never the timing and your destiny. You just have to put yourself out there, not wait for stuff to happen. But you're fearless. I mean, you're doing this. Um, you're just doing this and figuring it out later. You're not saying, gee, should I send this over to entertainment tonight? No, you just did it. You were also written up in a one of the top viral uh, on-site websites called Little Things. So talk about that. I mean, you're you're just popping up everywhere. And I think that she has frozen. We're going to have Monica go ahead and refresh herself, drop out, and come back in while we're sitting here chatting. And while we're doing that, Monica, I'm going to have you actually refresh yourself. I don't know if you can hear me, but you are completely frozen. All right, I'm going to drop you out and have you come back in. So. As you can tell, she, Monica, mommy rapper, I'm sorry, is, is a go-getter. This woman is, I want to be her when I get a little bit younger. She's amazing. Um, and I'm going to bring her back in, I think, in a second. Here she is. There she is. And she's back. What happened? I don't know. You completely froze. Um, <laughs> but you had a smile on your face while you froze. It was all good. <laughs> It was totally, it was all good. So we are talking about little things. We're talking about entertainment tonight. What, how did the little things come about? That's an online site. Again, I just did a bit of research. We didn't talk about my background pre-rap. It actually was public relations. So I know you have to do your research and find out the different beats. It's called the beat that different writers and reporters have and pitch the right people. You don't want to be pitching a sports writer your rap story. So uh, <laughs> I just Googled the top viral sites right now. BuzzFeed was number one and Little Things was number two. And I thought, what the heck? What do you have to lose? What's the worst that can happen? You get no response or you get a no. Right. Um, and die. you clearly got a response. And then out of at, since last week, you then got another message today. And that is about the. Canadian, the Canada Entertainment Tonight, they have reached out and you're going to do an interview with them as well, isn't that? I'm so thrilled and um, I used the Entertainment Tonight tweet about the story that was covered about my album as an opportunity to retweet it with a comment to Entertainment Tonight Canada mm -hmm. and I said I'm not sure how many people know I'm Canadian, so I'm a Canadian living in California right. and I feel like they would want to know that that here is a mom who's doing something unique in rap music just what again what's the worst that can happen it goes ignored or whatever so 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 here we got the uh, if you're just tuning in right now we're, we're talking to mommy rapper um and this is her new album we were talking before the show what do we call these things right now are they albums are they cds what are they i don't know but we're going to call it an album and how many how many um songs are on this album so there's four singles and I decided to do it as a collection instead of there's different strategies nowadays. You can just release singles and spread it out through the year. But as I mentioned earlier, I had a vision and I think it's really important to pay attention to the downloads that you get. And I got this download to do an album, you know, an EP is a short, um, it's called extended play. Mm -hmm. And um, it's usually three to five, you know, three to six songs. And I, I just followed that little prompting to do it as a, an album for Mother's Day. It's so timely and appropriate, Mommy Rapper. And I originally was going to call it Mom Rap Songs. But there's four songs on there and only two of them are about motherhood. There's Mother and I'm Boss. Those are specifically targeted to moms or not to moms, but about motherhood and the challenges of um, having a dream or a business, being an entrepreneur and raising kids. It's a delicate balancing act. Especially in this day and age, you're not just raising kids, you're, you're homeschooling them, you're, you're making sure their activities are taken all day long and all night long. So this is, this is truly a different time that we're living in right now. And you've managed to be raising four kids, homeschooling them, creating albums, 
And I want people to go over to mommyrapper.com forward slash music because they can go pick up your songs there. They are there. You can also go to YouTube as well if you want just, to, you know, to listen to um, the single Mother, um, which I just, I love saying. I just absolutely love saying. And I, I know that um, people are wondering how they're going to stay in touch with you. They can go to your website, Mommy Rapper, and there's a lot of really cool stuff there. You can find out more about Mommy Rapper. You can also, if you're on Facebook, you can follow her on Facebook, Mommy Rapper, and the same thing on Twitter. If that's your playground, go over to Twitter and look for Mommy Rapper. And finally, on Instagram, also imagine that, Mommy Rapper. It's it's easy to remember, I think, at this point. Um, any any last any last thoughts that you would like to share with moms out there that are raising their kids that are that have an idea in their head? and they're just afraid to take action. What would you tell them? That I totally understand. I empathize with that feeling of um, overwhelm or non-belief. How is this gonna happen? I've really had to train myself and I'm still in the process of learning how to take it day by day because we can get caught up and hi Naomi and Onelis I see your comment too um I love you guys I, these are some of my Vancouver peeps I Thank love you. that they're they're supporting you because yeah, I left Vancouver five years ago and it's so great to keep in touch with my Vancouver tribe of women Thank you so much, Onelis. Um, so basically, yeah, moms, you know, I, I've always really tried to stay grounded and focused on mothering first. Um, but the two tend to compete with each other, the, mm -hmm. the role of mother and the role of dreamer. And now I feel like things are happening because I really feel like I've started to integrate the two harmoniously. Right. And it's the number one ingredient to my message to a mom with a dream or an idea is patience because when we're not patient it makes us anxious and i used to wake up every day with this horrible anxiety and stress and it's not a comfortable um energy to provide to a family for the mother to be stressed and i it's all thoughts based. It really is. If you think positive thoughts, it's cliche that everything is happening the way it's meant to all of the um, cliches of that. It's meant to be everything's happening in divine time or for a reason. It, it's very calming. And then you can just take it day by day. That's my advice. Well, I, and that's great advice. And I, I know that those who are listening live or on replay, that's great advice. If you were here and you have a comment and want something to say to Mommy Rapper, she will come back and respond to you. Make sure you put it in the comments, say that you're here on replay. We'd love to hear from you. And most of all, we know that you have a choice as to how you spent your time and you decided to spend it with Mommy Rapper and I, and we are forever grateful. Um, we want you to go out and give somebody an awesome day and we'll see you next time on the next episode of Karen Glasser Live. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks, Karen.